Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all. It is Vlogmas Day 21. We got three more of these, y'all. Hope y'all uh, appreciate all the people say they watched every one of them. Been here for the last 20 days. This is number 21 straight. I haven't missed a day in the past. This is be three weeks straight. Has never happened before in the old school soul food channel. I did three straight weeks of videos without stopping. So yeah, this is uh, uh, Vlogmas Day 21. Now somebody had posted a question on one of my, uh, I think it was Prime Rib. Uh, what I do to get rid of Prime Rib, use it, I get rid of it. And I'm going to show y'all the video I was going to do anyway, and he just kind of reminded me. I told him I was going to post a video this week to get rid of, you got an F over Prime Rib, now, I don't suggest you go out and buy a prime rib and do what I'm about to do with it. But I'm going to make a beef and vegetable soup stew slash stew with it. It's very simple, y'all. This recipe is very, very simple. It doesn't take as long as a normal beef and vegetable stew would because this meat is not going to take as long to cook because it's a tender cut of meat. And like if you're going to use a shoulder or inside chuck or something like that, a beef stew meat that takes two or three hours to cook, this one's not going to take as long. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to step off, I'm going to cut this up in nice cubes. I got corn, frozen corn, frozen green beans, frozen peas and carrots, frozen pearl onions. I got some potatoes I'm going to put in this. We're going to make this very, I'm going to cut up some celery and onions. Uh, celery, not onions. I got pearl onions already. I'm going to cut up some celery and put in this. I might cut up some celery. Might not. Yeah, I think I'll cut a little celery up and put in this too. And also, I'm going to dedicate this to... I'm just killing all these birds with one stone. To my buddy, Chef Daddy Jack. You know, they passed away earlier this year. This is exactly something he would do on some of his videos when he was cooking in the last few years at home, not in his restaurant. He'd take leftover stuff. Say they had prime rib or something left from dinner. He'd take it and configure it and turn it into something even more better. And that's what I'm doing. Like I said, I like to dedicate a video a month to Chef Daddy Jack because he was very inspirational to me and started my channel. I used to watch him for years. And then I said, I can do that too. This this gentleman had the same cooking uh, methods and and, and and just like me. So I, he kind of inspired me and I reached out to him the last year of his life and emailed him back and forth. He even sent me some of his, uh, I should have it over here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it here, y'all. He even sent me some of his, uh, Blackened and spice. See this? He even mailed me some of this. That was, uh, I think, last year, last, uh, last December. He sent me some of his uh, blackened and seasoning. So yeah, uh, nice guy. So I'm gonna dedicate this video to him. And anytime I do a video where I just put random things together and come up with another dish, it's all because of my buddy Chef Daddy Jack. So go over there and watch his channel. You know he don't have any videos. Just watch some of his old videos. I'll put a link of his channel in the description of the video. So anyway, I'm going to step off here. I'm going to dice up this uh, prime rib. I'm going to quarter up my uh, potatoes, kind of cut them up a little. I'm going to dice up some celery. I'm going to come back and we're going to put this together. We're going to have us some beef and vegetable soup. And this is enough to freeze, y'all, for the winter. I'm getting like a squirrel. I'm getting ready for the winter time. Whenever I need some beef and vegetable soup, I'll just pull it out the freezer, warm it up, give me some crackers. Tonight I'm going to have some cornbread with it, and we're going to have some good eating. So we will be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. And let me show you what I've done here. Okay, let me move some of this stuff over. I diced my meat up right here. I left a little fat in it because you're going to need a little fat in this. It helps a lot. In the cooking process, I got my prime rib cut up here. I got uh, pepper, not peppers. I got celery, uh, frozen peas and carrots. I got some green beans here, frozen, frozen pearl onion, frozen corn. I got some potatoes, and uh, I'm gonna put some uh, diced tomatoes in there. Some tomato paste is gonna give it some body, and some beef stock, a little garlic, salt and pepper. This thing is gonna be fun, y'all gonna be a big hearty meal. I got me some cornbread in the oven right now. So it's gonna be on. Let's get started here. Let me move y'all up a little here. Okay, I got my thing heating up already. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this meat in here. And get it searing off. Be a big old pot of stew, y'all. Big old pot of stew. 
I'm gonna go on and put my garlic in here. Oh yeah, put a lot of garlic in there, y'all. Okay. What I want to do, I want to get a good caramelization. I want to brown this off really good. Once I brown it off, we're going to uh, start adding everything else to it. So it's going to take about, about five, six minutes to get this nice browned off. We'll get a good sear on it. Once I get it seared off, then we're going to add our other things to this. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to be right back. Once this is seared off, nice color on them. Matter of fact, hold on, let me do one more, one thing here before I get off. I gotta put my seasoning on here. I'm put my cabinets on here. Y'all know I look at my layers here. I'm gonna put a little cabinets on here. Put my shake on there. And just a Put a little, put a little of my shake on there. Get this, get a nice caramelization on here. Before we start adding our other stuff to this. This pot going to be completely full once we through with it, y'all. It's going to be a big old pot of soup. But the good thing about this, this meat ain't going to take as long to cook. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get this to sear off, and then when we come back, I'm going to add my celery to this, and we're going to just start laying flavors little by little, so we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we're back. Okay. Now, see that nice sear on there? I wish y'all could actually smell this. I wish you had smell vision Man, that flavor with that garlic. You know, the fine rib already good and seasoned. That's why I didn't add no salt. I just add my seasoning. You know, cabinets and then my shake don't have salt at all, much salt at all. It's all about flavor. So you see that now? I'm gonna add my celery to this. Because the celery is not cooked like the other vegetables, I wanna get a good sear on these celery. I'm not using a lot of celery. Y'all know I'm not a big fan of celery. So I'm gonna get a good sear on that. Get it started cooking. <clears throat> now, Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put my beef stock in here. Cause I want this to boil at least 30, 45 minutes. Cause I want this beef to get completely cooked. There's no medium rare in this one, y'all. When I make beef and vegetable soup with prime rib, old prime rib, there's no medium rare for this. It's gonna be completely cooked, well done. It's gonna be tender. The more you're cooking, the more tender it's gonna get. So, look how pretty that is, y'all. Such a pretty color, y'all. Such a pretty color, and this smells amazing. Okay, now, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna pour my beef stock in here, and I'm gonna cover this and let it simmer about 30 minutes. Now, if this was regular chopped meat, like stew meat, I have to simmer this hour and a half, two hours. But the advantage is, this is prime rib, which is a tender cut of meat. More tender cut of meat than uh than that old tough shoulder, so it don't have to cook as long. So make sure we got all this stirred up in here. You can see that nice color in there too, don't you? look at that. But we still gonna add tomatoes to this, we still gonna add tomato paste, we still gotta add our other vegetables to this. It's gonna be a nice, nice, nice hearty stew, y'all. Like I said, I got me some cornbread in the oven. And it's gonna be on here. Vlogmas day 21, y'all. It's just getting started. So we'll be right back in about 30 minutes, y'all. All right, y'all, I'm back right quick. It ain't been 30 minutes. I forgot to add my potatoes. I wanna show y'all, I gotta add my potatoes to this cause the potatoes has to cook along with the meat, y'all. Cause the potatoes are completely raw. So I add the potatoes to this. Some of them I cut up. Some of them I actually left whole. When they little like that, I just left them whole. So yeah, I add the potatoes to this and let them cook. Now, I'm gonna cover this up and let it simmer 30 to 45 minutes so the potatoes and the meat can get completely cooked. 
and then uh then we'll be back sorry i almost left that out brain cramp y'all i did a lot of videos in a row so that's what happened when you got so many overlapping each other in a row so yeah anyway i will be back in about like i say 30 for, i'm gonna check it out the 30 minutes if the potatoes need a little bit more usually they don't if they need a little bit more i let them go a little bit more so yeah this is gonna be i'm so excited because it's gonna have a awesome dinner tonight so anyway yeah, i'll be right back okay y'all we back here okay open this up here look at that the potatoes are pretty much done see how the meat has gonna shrink up and we got all this is nothing but flavor here y'all and that's what you want now now we're going to build some more flavors here we're going to build some more flavors here y'all I'm going to put the tomato products in here, which is going to give it a little color. And it's going to give it soups and body with the tomato paste. The tomato paste is going to give it color also, but it's going to do two things. Tomato paste do two things. It makes it it's a natural thickener, number one. You turn it down just a little. Now, put my diced tomatoes in here. Over there is in there. Give me this lid. I don't want to eat that. Stir this up. Give this a nice stir. Look at that, y'all. Look at that, y'all. Hmm. You know, good beef stew like this. Can't go wrong on a winter's night, huh? Okay, now. Now for the tomato paste. Tomato paste in here. It's gonna give it some more body and it's gonna make it a nice pretty color. A little bit of pan. This here little bit goes a long way, y'all. With tomato paste. A little bit goes a long way. Get off there. Get off there. Alright. Alright. Now we're gonna stir this in there. Stir that. And we're gonna slowly incorporate this in there. Turn this back up. Look at that. See how they're changing the color? See how the color's changing there? And it's going to make a natural thickener to this stew. Stew soup, however you want to call it. Like between, see how nice and thick it's got? That's a natural thickener for the soup. And it make a nice color. See that? Look at that. Look at that, y'all pretty in it but we ain't through yet y'all okay now remember those pearl onions we had we're gonna put those in there pearl onions in there look at that now, i got this turned back up but we're gonna this gonna all this cold stuff i'm putting in here gonna make this temperature go down okay now we'll put some put our peas and carrots in there Yielding in flavors, y'all. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God, y'all. This is going to be an awesome stew. Okay. Put our corn in here, my favorite vegetable. Y'all already know that. If you don't, you ain't been listening. Get the corn going in there. Y'all can use whatever vegetables y'all want in this. But these are my favorites. Look at that. Now, last but not least, green beans. Get them in there incorporated. You bet y'all didn't think it was going to all fit. I think I did this before, huh? I think I made this a couple of times before, huh? Oh, yeah. This is nice, hearty stew. You can't get no better than this, y'all. Now, well, all I'm going to do now, I'm going to cover this back up and let it come to a simmer. And then I'm going to come back and taste it. I want this to come all the way back up to a boil. So I can heat those vegetables all the way through. Potatoes is already cooked. Everything is cooked. I just need to get it all the way up to temperature. When we come back, show you the finished product. We're going to get us a bowl of that with some cornbread and some hot sauce. And I wish y'all was here to join me. We'll be right back. Vlogmas day 21. It's almost through. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all. You're back again here. Let me reveal this, y'all. Look at that. 
Look at this, y'all. Look at this hearty stew. Look at that. Look how, oh my God. You got everything you need in there. You got potatoes, vegetables, meat, tomatoes. Daddy Jack, Chef Daddy Jack would be proud of me. He probably looking down on me smiling right now. He would be, that's exactly something he would come up with, y'all. Chef Daddy Jack, but look at that hearty daddy. The potatoes are not mushy. They're perfectly cooked. They're not overcooked. Nothing's overcooked here. That's why you got to cook in flavor, in the steps. You just can't dump everything in the pot and just boil it because everything cooks differently. That's very important. Just take your time. You're using frozen vegetables, so they already cooked. The longest thing it takes to cook is really the potatoes. The meat is ready. The meat and the potatoes probably takes as long, but it doesn't take as long with the uh, prime rib. But I'm gonna, when the recipe and description of the video is going to call for shoulder. It's going to call for regular because I don't anticipate nobody taking a prime rib, cutting it up, making beef and vegetable soup out of it, beef and vegetable stew out of it. So anyway, y'all, I got me a pan of cornbread. Look at that. You can't go wrong with some cornbread and stew on a winter night, fall night. It's about to get cold here in Texas, y'all, this weekend. So I'm going to have some of this in the freezer to pull out this weekend and uh, have this with my New Year's, uh, New Year's Day food. So anyway, I'm going to step off. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to put me in this little bowl in here, and we're going to taste this, y'all, and I'm going to see how it is. I know how it is, but i got to prove it to y'all because y'all be doubting me sometimes. So anyway, y'all, I'll be right back. I'm put some in the bowl and be right back here. Bloggers Day 21, almost finished. We'll be right back. All right, y'all, we back for the final time. Look at this, y'all. Look at this now. Play the goodness. See that? That's a big bowl of goodness. Got my cornbread there. Y'all know I got to put me some hot sauce in my stew. Got to put me some hot sauce on there. Mm. Put a little cornbread. Let the cornbread just... I like to put the cornbread right in there like that, y'all. And then I'm going to take a little cornbread here, put it in there. That's the way we used to eat it growing up. Mm. Mm. Oh, my God. Good eating here, y'all. The meat is so tender. I can tell it's tender. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm in that element right now, y'all. Look at that. Cornbread on there. Mm. Mm. That's good eating that. Seasoning, cause you know the meat. That's some with a little fat on it. Y'all know I love my meat with a little fat on it. Mm. Perfect way to get rid of prime rib. And I definitely do not suggest you go take a ribeye, prime rib, and cut it up and make vegetable soup in it. Please don't do that. I only do this as worst case scenario, y'all. And have some left over. And that's what I did with mine. Like I say, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna freeze it, put it in my food safe and freeze them. And all throughout the next couple of months when I wanna, it's really cold and I want some beef stew, all I gotta do is put it out in my freezer. And it's ready. All the work is done. But anyway, Vlogmas Day 21 is in the books. So, let me close this video like I close every video. If you like this video, please share, please subscribe, please comment. I read all comments. I acknowledge all comments. I might not say anything, but I will give you a thumbs up and a heart. I do that. Out of respect to y'all commenting. Please follow my other social media accounts, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest. And OldSchoolSoulFood.com Remember the hashtag? Got one more week to go with this. No, this is the last week. 2021. Help somebody. Old School Soul Food. Until next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food Day. 
and I'll see y'all in the next video. And my daddy and my buddy, <clears throat> excuse me, I got a little <clears throat> meat in my throat. And my buddy, Chef Daddy Jack, would say, peace. Vlogmas Day 21 is done.